Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at viewing a model in Trimble Connect. So this is actually a user request. Uh, somebody asked, you know, if I if I publish a model up to Connect and I send it to a customer or somebody else I'm working with who's not familiar with it or doesn't have SketchUp, can't download the file, how can they move around and take a look at what's going on inside of Connect? And we thought that was a good question. And we had an answer. Let's take a look. All right, so here I am in Trimble Connect. This is the the just the web version. I'm just dialed right in. Uh, Trimble Connect, I open my jobs. I have uh, this one job I want to take a look at. So I'm just going to pick on that SKP file. That's going to load up. And when I first click on it, it just comes right into the viewer. Here it is. Um, so there's some stuff I can play with over here. I can expand and I can kind of see the, the uh, outliner kind of view. But really, with this model in particular, I, just the top view is what I really want to be looking at. Um, to move around the model is very different from SketchUp. So if I click my, move my cursor onto the model, click and hold my left mouse button, it's going to take that point that I clicked on as kind of a pivot point and let me spin around that point in 3D. If I click anywhere on the model and drag my right mouse button, I'm moving the model from a different point. I believe this is a based off of a global axis. This is kind of crazy. I don't really use that very much. I like that that left mouse button. Hold, click and hold left mouse button to spin around the point you're picking on. So if I pick this building right here, you can see that becomes the center of my rotation. If I grab this one over here, click and drag, that's my center of ro rotation. If I push down the mouse button or the middle mouse button, the wheel, excuse me, then I go into pan. And whatever I'm over when I click the middle mouse button, that becomes my handle that I'm holding it by. And then of course, scrolling the middle wheel in zooms in, scrolling the middle wheel back zooms out. There's also this little widget in the lower right corner where I have these little, little buttons for the X, Y, and Z axes. So you have bold colors for the tops, faded ones for the back. If I click on those, it'll actually jump to that view. So if I click the Z, it'll give me a top view. X and Y will give me different side views. Uh, and then I can actually move around by hitting the opposites as well. So, Kind of a cool, quick and easy way to jump in there. Um, like I said, if I want to customize my view in any way, I just scroll in there and then click on the model with left to zoom in. Let's get in here and take a look at our model. So once I get in here, uh, I do have, of course, the ability to change what I'm seeing here. This is a pretty good looking model. I got some weird stuff going on. I got my, my 2D people. This is not the same viewing engine that SketchUp uses. So stuff does show up differently. So things like face me don't know to face me when I'm in Trimble Connect. Easy enough, I can turn them off. If I click on the second button here, I have layers. And if I go down layers, I can find people, turn them off. Those, for the most part, go away. Ooh, had somebody who wasn't, wasn't properly labeled. Hiding out there. Um, but you can see, as long as your model is properly organized, I can do that. I can move that stuff around. Um, some things that I may want to do when I come in here, like I said, besides just moving around, it's not really walk through so much as, uh, you know, I said, spinning the model around. You can see it's very performant. You guys have probably seen this model. It's a 2024 release model, and it's a big model. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and uh, Trimble Connect shows it without, you know, much of a delay or lag or anything like that. You can see I'm, I'm spinning past the tiles really quick. You can see them getting redrawn. Trimble does not, Trimble Connect does not draw the stuff that's off screen, so... You get up to the edge and flip real quick like that, you might see stuff coming in and out of existence. But generally speaking, a uh, real quick and easy way to, to view things. So on occasion, something may happen where like, let's, let's zoom back a little bit and zoom from over here. And I might get something that's in my way of what I wanna see. I might see something like this. You can always select items. And when you select items, you see this little pop-up right here where I can do some stuff. I can see the information about this, uh, obviously this, Context models is not a thing I want to see info about, but that's how you get it. So if I pick something that matters, I can bring up the info and actually see the information about that. Uh, what is it? Um, what layer is it on? Do a product or SketchUp instance information? Um, in this case, something like this we're viewing, this piece is now in the way of my model. One of the things I can do in here is temporarily hide the selection. So that will just take it out so I can now I can see in here uh, where I want to see it. 
Um, likewise, or opposite, not likewise, totally the other end of things. If I have a piece that I want to pick on, again, I can see the information here. And if I want to isolate it, I just click the show only selected objects button. That's going to hide everything else. And I can always bring it back by saying show. Um, so it's a quick toggle if I want to isolate something, pull something out of the model. Ooh, that's a cool looking bar down there. Let me, let me just take a quicker look, just a look at just that. I can do that kind of thing and uh, uh, isolate what I'm seeing, what I'm looking at. Um, overall though, like I said, it's really easy to get in there. The biggest thing that people struggle with, I'll be honest, me too, is that you do have to get used to doing things slightly different if you're used to SketchUp. If you're not used to SketchUp and this is your first time moving around, shouldn't be a problem. Hold down the middle bu mouse button to pan, scroll that middle mouse wheel to zoom, hold down the left mouse button to orbit, and then, yeah, toggle your stuff with either your layers or the commands on individual basis. So that was a quick one. That was concise, that was simple, but like I said, this was a request we had was I want to send this model, I want to share this model with somebody over Trimble Connect. They don't have SketchUp. How can they look around? And hopefully that gets you there. Pretty easy, um, simple thing to move around once you've practiced it a couple of times and a great way to share and visualize your model. So hopefully that helps. If so, if you like that video, click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos a week and they're not all about Trimble Connect. Usually they're about SketchUp and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Is there a functionality somewhere in the SketchUp suite of software that you would like to hear more about? If so, tell us and we'll make a video about it. We like making these videos a lot, like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.